Hi guys and welcome back to Football Manager 2017 with Edinburgh City. So, last time when we left off we just reviewed our Queen's Park victory, 2-0 there and we were on to playing Peterhead away. As you can see is a quick overview of a pretty decent run of games uh, through January and February. Peterhead away with the 2-1 the, the victory for ourselves there. Adam Watson after 15 minutes putting us ahead. Rory McAllister equalising unfortunately for Peterhead just before the half time break however Chris McKee in the 81st minute pops up with a winner we took only 45 fans away to this game uh, 15 shots to their 9, 8 on target to their 6, 14 fills to their 9 picking up the only booking of the game and 59% possession, uh, percent possession pardon me, to their 41 so we did pretty well in this game, it was a relatively competitive game but a good away victory against a team lower down in the league who we would expect to beat uh, if we can expect to beat any teams that is so after that good result we moved away to Brecon who are another lowly team in the league and they managed to hold out for a 0-0 draw 73 fans coming with us away to this one uh, 13 shots to their 6, four, 4 on target to their 2, 12 fouls to their 6, 3 bookings to their 2 so quite a, quite a contested one here, quite a fierce one in terms of the bookings and the fouls 58% possession Relatively dull game, they did a good job of shutting us down actually uh, Defender there, Chris O'Neill with a 7.2 actually man of the match Really really dull game, I suppose you've got to hand it to them for shutting us down uh, So move into the next game, at home to Forfar, it's another 0-0 8 shots to their 7, 2 on target apiece, 23 fouls to their 12 but no bookings So just a, some niggly fouls there And 55% possession to their 45, another one of these really boring games 898 fans at this one Jamie Bain for them, 7.3 man of the match, really boring game, not much going on whatsoever. Game probably mostly broken up by fouls there looking at the stats. So a 0-0 draw on that one as well. Uh, then we go away to Stranraer who were actually above us in the table and we randomly turn on the style. 55 fans coming away to the borders uh, on this one down in Stranraer. Dean Cummings hitting the first goal in the 43rd minute before Greg Passazio, uh, just before the break there on the 45th, puts us in 2-0 up with a great flurry just before half time. We come out in the second half and after 19 minutes we complete the route, Dean Cummings again in the 64th minute making it 3-0 against Stranraer, great performance from us today, 21 shots to their 9, 9 on target to their 4, 15 fills to their 9, 2 bookings to their 1 and 65% possession bossing the ball in this one. Absolutely brilliant stuff from us here. 3-0 victory and that's three clean sheets on the bounce. Then we go away to Stenhouse Muir. A 1-1 draw in this one. Highly contested. A fierce game there. You can see all the bookings there. Four bookings for us. Three for them. Uh, from 19 fouls to their 15. 14 shots we had to their 10. 7 on target to just their 1. And it really makes it difficult considering their 1 shot on target was from the penalty spot when Alistair Sutherland put them 1 up after 14 minutes. Then we were kind of pounding away a little bit. Uh, Uzi C in the 74th minute got his equaliser that earned us the point here. But you know, as we can see over here, a real let off for Stenhouse Muir. Edinburgh City couldn't believe they'd only drawn that. So a draw there, a point there. It is a point away from home. 86 fans actually coming away to this one. Only a point away from home. But at the end of the day, it's not a defeat. So we can take that with a relative degree of pride. Then we're hosting Queen of the South here. And it's an absolute stinker from us, a howler. If we were gutted at how the last game went, then this game was even worse. 21 shots to their 6, 7 on target to their 4, 6 fouls and a booking apiece, 66% possession to their 34. And the sucker punch from Lewis Moore in the 86th minute for 1-0 to Queen of the South. An absolute howler. Man of the match for their goalkeeper, Lee Robinson there. We did manage to injure James Keatings, which is nice. But you know, a player worth £525,000, that's more than our club's worth. So Queen of the South getting the victory there. But we've got to be proud of the boys, I suppose, in one level that we're doing so well against clubs. Uh, there are as high, uh, high and mighty, if you will, as Queen of the South. Sort of relative terms compared to ourselves anyway excuse me so that was a that was a hard one to take that really was the sucker punch coming at the end like that however if we actually look there 1116 fans at this one 250 of them away supporters but a good attendance for us 
The next game we're away at St Mirren. Over 2,800 fans at this one, 129 of our travelling supporters. Pretty dull game, three shots to their six, two on to their four, 13 fills to their nine, three bookings to their one, 59% possession. The 2-0 victory sadly for St Mirren, Mark Doherty converting from the spot in the 44th and 72nd minute, two penalties costing us. Um, yeah, pretty much they deserve to win this game if you look at the statistics there. We only managed three shots all game. And when you're giving away two penalties and only managing three of your own shots, 99 times out of 100 you are going to lose that game. So a loss away at St Mirren. Uh, and then we, we round up against Peter Head once again and it's another 2-1 victory this time at home 912 fans at this one 71 of them away Peterhead supporters 18 shots to their 6 so triple their shot figure there 5 on target to their 2 14 fills to their 9 and 2 yellow cards to their 1 with 65% possession to their 35 we were 1 up through Ross McKillop after 24 minutes his first goal for the club just before half time however Daryl Nickel equalising for Peterhead and just as it looked like it was going to be a lot of effort for Little Fruit, Greg Passazio stepping up again in the 88th minute to score a goal. 2-1 to Edinburgh City, getting us the three points that we deserve today. Uh, and that completes the fixture roundup. Next time out we'll be playing Airdrionians. Uh, and we're, we'll, we'll probably complete the round of fixtures actually. So next update will be the season end update. Uh, we have a little look at the league table just now. We're currently in 6th place with 39 points, 1 behind Stranraer, 7 however off of the playoff spot, so probably that safe mid-table position is where we're going to end up. We will go for the, the, the highest position we can possibly get, but we're probably going to end up just off the playoffs. Uh, we are 5 points clear of Forfar back in 7th, we're 8 points clear of Stenhouse Muir and a massive 19 clear of that playoff spot, so no danger of going down, probably no threat of going up either. So we're probably going to end up in a safe mid-table position with some consolidation. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. Uh, as I always say, if you can drop down below and leave a like, that would be fantastic. It helps out more than you, you realise it does. Uh, and I'll see you next time for our season end update.